I want to design a mod 5 counter using D flip flops only. So mod 5 counter is the one that will count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then again 0 and it will count like that. So basically from here. So it will be of only D flip flop. So if we think of the truth table, D flip flop is a flip flop that where the whatever is at the input goes to the output. So let's look at the truth table of a mod 5 counter in terms of uh, present state and next state. So if the present state is 0 and uh, the next state will be, uh, let's first fill this up 0000001010111 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then I am just filling this up but one one zero one one one. So for a mod five count uh, mod five counter, when the present state, if this uh, this one we call present state, the next state will be for zero 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 it will be zero zero one. For zero zero one it will be zero one zero. Zero one zero will be zero one one. Zero one one will be one zero zero. And 100, zero zero, the next state will be 000. Zero zero. And for these ones, for a mod 5 counter, these won't come. So all of them will be 0. Now, if we want to design a mod 5 counter using D flip flops only, whatever we want to have at the next state has to be at the input of the D flip flop. Because with the clock, the input, whatever it is, will go to the output. So if we think of the inputs of the D flip flops for a mod 5 counter D, B and D, C, let's call like that. So the next state, whatever it is, that will be at the input. So 001, 010, 011, 100, then 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and then 000. zero, zero. So this is this will be the truth table and the inputs will be like that and these are the present states. So what we need to do we need to find we will have three uh, D flip flops and this will be DA. So considering this is the MSB this is DA here and this we can call QA this will be DB uh, B and this will be QB and this will be DC and this will be QC so of course these ones will be uh, whatever the next state will be the inputs so I have to use K maps to find the expression of DA DB and DC because DA DB and DC will be uh, a function of the cues that is of these ones so let's look at the truth uh, the k map for da and what we have here is let's call this is a b and c so a bar a b bar c bar b bar c B C and B C bar, and if we look at this one, this uh, K map, there is only one, one here, and that one corresponds to zero one one, so that will be zero here. One one that means this one zero here, and one one is this one, so this one. So the expression for D A will be A bar B C. And uh, let's call them instead of QA actually I wrote QA but actually just let's make it simpler so yeah so basically this will be A B and C because these are A B C or we could have written QA QB QC whatever so this was this is for DA so DA will be A bar B C so of course A A bar which is actually here is A bar so a bar and b and c 
will be connected here at the input now for this db let's look at the truth table for db again a bar a b bar c bar b bar c b c b c bar now if we look at the second one which is db we have a one here which corresponds to zero zero one so zero zero one zero zero one that means this one sorry this one and the other one is here which is zero one zero zero one zero this one so zero here one zero that is this one and we can't group them so basically db will be a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar that will be the expression for db here db so a bar b bar c or a bar b c bar finally the expression for dc from let's use another k map for dc so again a bar a b bar c bar b bar c b c b c bar so if i look at the last one here i have two ones one is here sorry here which is actually zero 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 so that will be here this one and the other one is here which is actually zero one zero this one zero one zero so when i go there zero one zero zero here one zero that means this one so these two can be grouped actually this one and this one can be grouped and that group will be the thing that is not changing is you can see a bar is not changing so a bar is there and c bar is not changing so c bar is there so that will be the expression for uh, dc so if we want to make the mod 5 counter using uh, so using just d flip flops db and dc and this is of course a here b here and c here and of course b bar c bar so basically these are the outputs instead of with the queues i am just writing a so here we will have uh, i will just draw it so a bar bc so i will have a bar somewhere coming b and c so all of them ended here and then coming here similarly for the d bar it will be a bar b bar c and a bar b c bar so a bar b bar c this will be ended and then it will be odd with again ended here um, it's getting clumsy it's always gets clumsy here so a bar b c bar is the other one a bar b c bar so basically these two are odd and connected to d bar uh, d b bar and finally d c bar is a bar c bar so we have a bar and c bar ended and connected to dc so with this uh, connection we will have a mod 5 counter and we have a mod 5 counter and we have got that using only d flip flops